Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP touchpad tablet. It's a 9.7 inch tablet, came out in 2011. It was cancelled almost as soon as it was released, just a couple of months later by Hewlett Packard. And uh, uh, part of the reason for that is that it was running WebOS, it wasn't a uh, widely adopted operating system, and uh, so they had a fire sale. They sold these things that originally cost $500 for as little as $100. A bunch of people snapped them, figured out how to get Android running on them, and have been uh, enjoying them ever since. Uh, now, recent builds of Android uh, run into a couple of problems when you try to install them on here. So let's take a quick look. You can see I'm running Android 4.4 KitKat, but when we go into uh, storage, I'm running out of space, and that's because of the way the disk partitions are set up and the fact that uh, this is actually dual booting between WebOS and Android. Now, there are a whole bunch of hoops that you can jump through to free up space and change the way the partitions are laid out, but there's actually a much, much easier way now. Uh, the uh, uh, developer J.C. Sullins has been working on the HP Touchpad for a couple of years now and has come up with some of the coolest tools for uh, modifying it, and now he's come up with a pretty great one that is called... Uh, touchpad or TP toolbox. So let's go ahead and reboot this device and I'll show you how it works. Okay, once we get to the reboot screen here, what we're going to do is choose WebOS recovery. And we'll get a big USB logo here when that works properly. Now on the PC, and you'll find more details about this at lilliputing.com and at the XDA Developers Forum, but on the PC, you need to make sure that you've got two things installed. You need to have uh, Java installed and the uh, Novacom uh, application from, from Palm or HP or uh, whoever is responsible for it these days. Uh, there's a universal uh, installer that you can use Java to install it with, and it makes it pretty simple, so uh, that's why I recommend also having Java installed. Okay, so once that's done, all you need to do is go to the Toolbox folder on your PC, and uh, this is a PC tool, um, and we've got a Windows batch file. I'm just going to double tap that file, and you'll see what happens here on the tablet once I do. Uh, we're plugged in via USB connection. So it's sending all of that information over here and it's going to reboot into uh, or uh, load into this toolbox. Now from here you can do a lot of things than just using the volume keys and the home key. And what I'm going to show you how to do is create or do a complete data reset. Now uh, when you do this it's going to wipe all of your data and it's going to repartition the uh, drives. And unlike earlier versions of the software that you use to install Android, it'll actually uh, not just delete all of your Android data, it'll actually delete the WebOS partition. You're going to keep that WebOS recovery that we just saw, because that's, that comes in handy for loading this uh, touchpad toolbox, but uh, it's going to delete both operating systems. But it's also going to free up space that when we reinstall Android, it's actually going to give us more free space. So uh, let's go ahead and do a complete data reset. It asks if we're sure we want to do that. I'm going to say yes. I'm really sure. I'm really, really sure. And here we go. And now we've got a system with no operating system on it. So, so let's go ahead and choose Install Android. And it's going to uh, go ahead and check the disks, load it as a, uh, a USB flash drive on the PC so I can copy my files over to it so I can actually have the, the starting point for the operating system and then load it. So let's see how that works. We're going to go Install Android. should mount as a media drive, and on the PC that means that I can open a folder and see a folder. There's a folder that says TT install. Now I've already actually copied some uh, files in here. Uh, normally it takes a couple of minutes to copy everything over USB connection, but uh, 
I have completed that to speed up the time here. And um, we've got Team Win Recovery Project. You can also use Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, a build of Signage in Mod 11, and Google Apps, which includes uh, Google Play Store and other things. So that's all done. They're all hanging out in the proper folder. So now let's say Unmount Media Volume. And it should go through the rest of the steps here and install Android for us. Now, not any version of Android for the HP Touchpad is going to work. Uh, you need a compatible build, and you can find compatible builds at the XDA Developers Forum thread, which you can find links to in the description here. Uh, it asks if we want to confirm, and I want to say yes. And here it goes. So when this is done, again, we're not going to have access to WebOS anymore. Now, you can reinstall WebOS, but you're going to want to use this option here that says Create WebOS Volumes before you do that. That uh, prepares the disk for it, and then you can use the WebOS Doctor tool that was provided by HP with the touchpad to uh, basically restore the factory settings. It's kind of a long, convoluted process, but it'll get you back to the way the device was when you bought it. Um, now, the problem is WebOS, as I mentioned, was never very widely adopted, so there aren't as many apps for it as for Android and so forth, but it's uh, basically it's better supported. Okay, so it's saying it's going to reboot. We've got a countdown timer. I'm just going to let that go instead of clicking anything, but you can cancel the auto-reboot if you want. And if all goes according to plan, we're going to boot into, we're going to see the bootloader here. It should give us a couple of different options to choose from. Or maybe we're going to skip that and go back to the toolbox. Nope, nope. Okay, so now we're basically using Team Win Recovery Project to complete the rest of this. And what the rest of this is, is uh, installing the version of Android KitKat and the GApps package, the Google Apps package. I'm learning as you are exactly what order all of this happens in. So uh, again, we'll, we'll sit through this for a moment and uh, then it should reboot. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to reboot into the uh, touchpad toolbox or if it's going to reboot right into the uh, bootloader, which will let us go to Android. Let's see what happens. Uh, this is all still much, much easier than doing it manually, though. Okay, here comes the Google Apps for KitKat. Now the build I'm using right now is Android 4.4.2 KitKat. 4.4.3 is not available as I shoot this video. Uh, it's probably just a matter of time before we start to see some though. Alright, so now you can see we can boot into Cyanogen Mod, uh, Team Win Recovery Project, or WebOS Recovery. Let's go ahead and boot Android and see what happens. And at this point it should be safe to uh, unplug it and run off battery power. Alright, here we go, we've got Cyanogen Mod. Let's skip this for now, we can come in and set up an account later. Be nice to get the time right though. Eastern time. And we're good to go. All right, so let's take a quick look, and all going according to plan. We should have Android 4.4.2. This is a build from June 3rd, and in terms of storage, we've got 12.26 gigabytes free on a clean installation. 
Google Play Store is installed, and uh, basic apps, camera, let's see if the camera's working. It's working about as well as it ever does on uh, Android. So we've got sort of weird looking aspect ratio, but, uh, but we can see. So anyways, there you go. That's a quick look at how you can use the uh, touchpad toolbox or TT toolbox to uh, install a new data media build of Android, uh, change the disk partitions, erase WebOS, make all sorts of changes to the HP touchpad. Pretty user friendly, pretty simple. Um, you do run the risk of losing all your data if you don't back things up, but if you have stuff backed up to a Google account or elsewhere, the, what you're going to lose isn't really that big. But if you were playing games or reading books or something, you might want to uh, finish your game before you start, because you will lose everything. Um, anyways, again, that's a quick look at the uh, usage of J.C. Sullen's awesome new tool, uh, Touchpad Toolbox, for updating the HP Touchpad. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.